For the past seven months, I've been building out my own artificial intelligence integrated software. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the truth about building software. No, I'm not gonna be saying in three months, you can make $10,000 a month or saying this is probably the easiest way to make a lot of money really fast. This video's purpose is actually to give you a real world perspective so you can understand if you wanna take this journey slash if you wanna even understand what this journey looks like, what it's gonna be like. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm making today's video because I think this is gonna be a refreshing perspective. This is gonna give you an actual real life perspective on creating software. So before I jump into any further details of this video, let me just give you a little bit more context. I'm currently at the point of building this software out for the past half year. I've done it up to this point as an individual. Currently, I am in the process of acquiring another engineer on my team. Up to this point as an individual, I have gotten no outside funding. This is completely bootstrapped. This is from zero lines of code to up to 25,000 lines of code now. Therefore, if you're coming from a different perspective as a software engineer slash founder and you got funding, you're getting venture capitalists, et cetera, this is not the video for you. I'm giving the perspective of an engineer, of a solo full stack developer who created this from scratch, everything involved with it, as this is probably gonna be the shoes that a lot of us wear that wanna enter this industry as you're not gonna get some unicorn investor out of nowhere to pump you with $10 million. In the future, there'll probably be a very real possibility where I can give perspective through raising money through venture capitalists and proceeding and creating software in that manner. So maybe subscribe and see that in the future. But as of now, this video is purely for the engineers out there that want to start off as full stack and really understand what's entailed here. Currently, the software I created is called TubeSamp, short term slash midterm. We plan on changing the name, channel pivoting a little bit. There's going to be a bunch more value added here. But through this journey, let me get a couple of things clear to y'all. This is not a oh, I'm creating a software and now I'm getting 10,000 to, 10, to $100,000 a month. Up to this point in my creation process journey, the amount of paid users I have currently in the platform is nowhere near a substantial amount of, of income to live off of. Knowing this, that's fine because the way I'm approaching the software is very much like I'm straight up learning how to build out an entire full stack app by myself through code and everything involved with it. So the value I truly get out, get out of it up to this point is purely educational. Therefore, this is number one. Number one is this. If you want to take this journey, you're not going to receive a payday probably until year one, end of year one. For my current projections and the way everything is going, let me just write down EDU for education. From my current projections and, and how everything is going, six, seven months in, I can tell by the end of this year, I'll get substantial income from this software for my projections. But up to that point, year one of creating the software, you're not gonna get a payday. You are going to be working, learning, understanding more optimized ways of handling the back end, understanding more optimized ways of handling the front end. This is learning, y'all. This is completely educational stage. This is kind of like, this kind of like parallels with other things in life. What I've noticed is with my content creation journey, I just hit year one or end of year one, and my content has substantially improved since then. Therefore, this is kind of being translated into other parts of my life as well, which is the software itself. Knowing this, you are basically paying down a huge knowledge debt for your first year. I come from a background of coding. I've coded since I was 12 to 17. Coding is not new to me. Creating an entire application that acts as APIs at scale, intricate backends that are optimized for user experience. This is new to me. I'm learning. I'm going through the process. But here's the most advantageous part about going through this journey is you can't go on this journey with the idea that in six months, now you got a substantial amount of income that you can just have a runway. I've always said on this channel, you need an Easter egg. You need to give yourself a year's worth of rent, food, everything above the water to survive on a bare minimum in order to take risk like this. That's the only way it's possible. This is no magic bullet. If you watch any content creator, this is one thing. If I start doing this, call me out in my comments. I will never put in my title or whatever. Easiest way to make $10,000 a month, zero to $1 million in one year. This is just not True, this is clickbait. This is not how you're supposed to do this journey. So knowing that this is a very real perspective. First year of creating software, you are going to be learning a lot. That's gonna be your value. That's more valuable than the money itself. And here's why it's more valuable than the money itself. We're assuming you're already making income elsewhere, whether that's freelance content, et cetera, et cetera. You have your Easter egg. You're putting down that knowledge debt to learn how to build a software from complete scratch. Here is why it's so valuable, y'all. It's because you, my friend, you're going through that year, and I'm only seven months in. You have just gained one of the most valuable skills that will be 
highly prioritized and highly paid for in the next five years. Specifically talking about the ability to integrate AI and create software applications. This is a new industry. This is a new frontier. Therefore, the knowledge that you're paying is going to pay dividends in the future. Because now, at least from my perspective, the amount of education I've learned on this topic, my ability to now create softwares of different ideas, if I choose to do so, is extremely easier. To give perspective, up to this point, it has taken me around six to seven months to get to the point I'm at right now with my software. Now, with the education I've gained up to that seven months, if I wanted to recreate this software with everything entailed with it, I can guarantee you I could probably get it out there in two and a half months, if not three. I've truncated my time by 50%. Any future softwares I want to create, any future artificial intelligence ideas I want to implement are going to be very fast, very expedient, and ready to go. Because you're going to learn very major skills when it comes to creating software from a back-end to front-end experience, but also probably the most important skill which is gonna be able to prompt AI in backends of softwares. That little thing, I made a video on this as well, I'll link it up right there. That ability to create a prompt, that at scale gives reliable outputs to user 5,100 and user three is the most valuable skill. I'm going to die on this stake or what's that saying? Die on this bed or die, die on the hill. I'm gonna die on this hill. This is the most valuable skill. The reason people don't realize this is a very valuable skill or maybe the market hasn't priced it in yet is because of the fact of this. The education around this skill is like next to, next to nothing. When you look at API documentation when it comes to OpenAI or Anthropic or Cloud or whatever the API AI user provider you're using, their documentation is very much so, here's how you connect to it, here's an endpoint, here's an example prompt. Hello, helpful chatbot. How do I do this? Like, it's like a one sentence thing. Like the actual prompt itself doesn't get a lot of like light. There's not a lot of light around it. And the reason why is because as an engineer, you can basically code out an entire software up to 80 to 90%. But that last 10% of that prompt is probably the most valuable thing when integrating it with AI, because that's the thing, which is your value point in your software. So keep that in mind. Okay, Corbin, I hear you. I get it. I'm ready for this journey. I know that for basically the first year, I'm probably not going to get paid. And if you are going to get paid, it's not going to be a substantial amount of income. If everything I said right now, does it sound right to you? This isn't enough. This isn't the income isn't fast enough. Then this is probably not the right channel for you. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not going to make no clickbait thumbnail that says making $10,000 a month. That would just be straight lying to you in the context of creating software. The reason why software sells for so much, the reason why you see these exits that are millions of dollars is because the software itself can be used by every single person in the world. That's why most software companies are sometimes in a deficit because they're spending more on marketing just to acquire consumers because they're not worried. Because once you acquire a customer, your profit margin on the underlying user is like 80 to 90%. What happens is this. I've seen tweets on the internet, I've seen sentiment on the internet. It's basically said that every single software idea or SaaS idea has already been created. We're just making incremental improvements and that's a form of competition. This is just fundamentally not true. And the reason, especially if you plan on going on this brand new enter, this brand new market, which is AI software, you're not gonna get a lot of education. There's not gonna be a lot of resources for you. We are very much in the Wild West right now when it comes to software development and artificial intelligence. This is very much the Wild West. This is kind of how app development was when the App Store just came out on iOS. First four years were a little bit like, there's not a lot of education. You can create a lot of cool apps. You can make a lot of money. Because of the fact that basically we are in the Wild West, saying that if you're watching this two years from now, the Wild West just got a little bit more regulations or competition. Because we're in the Wild West right now, this is the moment to create that software, pay down that knowledge debt, pay down that year. What I can tell you right now, and if you found this video, kudos to you, because there's probably this probably this is probably only going to get like a maybe 500 views. But what I can tell you right now is, I should have made a website in 97, 98, 99. Oh, I would have made a website in 98, 90, 98, 99, 97. Of course, of course, I would have done that. Oh, 08, the App Store just came out. 09, of course, I would make an iOS app for the App Store when that happened, right? 
Like if I was a, like of age back then, I was ready to go. Of course I would have done that. 2022, 2021, 2023. Oh, artificial intelligence just got the ability to integrate into software. Of course I would have created an AI SaaS. Of course I would have created some type of software that actually leverages this new capability. Okay, bet. This is it. We're here. We have about five years. Five years before this becomes so oversaturated, but not in the context of what you think. Five years where this competition gets so competitive that it would be like doing Amazon FBA right now. What is the incentive to do Amazon FBA when Amazon Basics is taking over? The fees that were associated in 2017 to present day have gone up hundreds of percents. How do you know this, Corbin? Because I used to do FBA in 2017 and I saw the prices recently. I know this stuff because I had the experience of this stuff. Put your, put on a whiteboard, put whatever it may be. If you don't know how to code, if you know how to code, whatever it may be, the next six to six months to one year, if you pay down that debt to create an out create an application, this will probably be the most pivotal moment in your entire life as you'll go down a route in life where you're basically investing your time into a brand new market that's going to be billions, if not trillions long term, as this is the artificial intelligence software market. The next Facebooks, the next Airbnbs, the next Ubers, the next everything you could think of is going to be created in this phase. What's the next phase after this, Corbin? possibly VR, AR, when that becomes more democratized in the context of money and being able to be easily accessible. But as of now, in the next five years, that is your gold rush. That is our gold rush. If you're in your 20s, if you're in your 30s, this is our version of the gold rush. I'm not, I'm, I, I wasn't even alive in 97. <laughs> so there's no way I could have made a website. 08, 09, I was 10 years old. Actually, I was developing apps then, but those were like very, they were very simple, like sound apps. 22, 23, 24, this is it. So are you going to create one or are you not going to create one? Because if you're not, this opportunity will pass you. I didn't mean to come off too intense in this video, but I wanted to give you really real perspective. Because I feel like a lot of content on this topic or content in AI general is just a bunch of fluff and people just trying to get clicks and views without actually giving you substantial information. So without further ado, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not always this intense, y'all, but without further ado, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. Make sure to subscribe. Check out the playlist at the end here. It's from concept to software. I go over different topics like this. I, I really encourage you to check out the prompting one. It's like be, become a prompt engineer in 15 minutes. Really, really informational stuff in there. I'll see you in the next video. That was a playlist I was talking about. That's a random video from YouTube's algorithm. That's my face. Also, one last thing. I don't know if you made it to this point of the video, but let me know of cool business names you like. It doesn't matter what the industry is. You, oh, I like the name Reddit. So let me know in the comments. I'm doing a study. I'll see you in the next video.